This time on Low Boost, we upgrade the headlights on our E36 Turbo LS swap. Pretty in the box. I have with this though is, as much as I don't like these and I love those, I have this turbo piping that comes right here. If you're interested more about my E36 Turbo LS swap, I'll put a link to it in the description below. I got a full build series on this car. It's great. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check it out. Looks hell of a lot better than the old one. Um, but we still got all this turbo piping. We got to see if we can clear here. So. Fingers crossed. First look, doesn't line up perfect, but then again, it's an eBay headlight set. Um, haven't bolted it in yet, gonna test it out. Uh, these are probably the lights for the halos, so I still have to wire those in, but I just wanna make sure everything works. So let's check it out. Low beam, high beam, uh, significantly brighter. And then once I have all the other halo stuff, it'll look great too, let's check the blinker. All right, everything works. Let's wire up the halo. I wired the positive and the ground into the plugs themselves. I don't know why they don't come that way from the factory. Maybe if you want to wire them up to something different to switch the power to have them turn on differently for the halos, but uh, I just wired them so they come on when the lights come on. All works up. Gotta figure out how that one's got power there and that one doesn't down here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. All right, so a couple of wiring things. This light actually has more than just your regular high beam and low beam. It actually has the tail light incorporated into it, which I like this so one piece. Uh, it also has a marker here and a marker light here. And um, I didn't wire this one in. This has a, a white and a black wire. Um, the only place I could think to wire it into would be the blinker and have the two of them blink together, but I kind of like the original look. And then this also lights up too, bright white. However, it doesn't do it on the other side. And I double checked my grounds and everything and that side just doesn't light up. So it might be a bad bulb. I'll have to reach out to them and see if they'll send me a new one. I don't even know if that's replaceable. But what I did was, um, I'm not a big fan of it anyway. I, I just like having these three just as it was with my old ones. So what I did was I just uh, made a plug for the two of them if I ever wanted to run back into this. So if I ever want to plug these two in, that'll actually make that light run, but I will, I have them unplugged for now and uh, I'll tape them up so they don't go anywhere. So the halos have a different circuit and you have to wire them in separate. So I just clipped the plug that is supposed to go in, cut it, and then I spliced in and tied them in with this and I used solder um, connectors, that way they don't go anywhere. You hit it with a heat gun and it works great. Um, and that connected them all two together. I'm just gonna tuck it down underneath and uh, we'll check it out. Tying everything together, it is nice and uh, soldered together there. Really, it won't go anywhere. I can tug on that hard and it won't go anywhere. Below to these, they're great. You can get them on Amazon, super cheap, and they're so easy. All in all, I like the lights. Uh, I think they give it a much different look. Definitely, I'm gonna lose a little bit of the sleeper look that I have with this front end. Um, I, I lose it a little bit with the with the front mount intercooler, but it's definitely throwing a lot more light than the original. Um, the seams, I know people are worried about the seams. It's not, there is a little bit of a gap. Pardon my finger smudges from doing all this, but I gotta clean it. This side lines up really, really good. And uh, the other side doesn't, and I'll tell you why. 
So this is really flush, straight on, but the other side isn't. This side does have a slight, slight gap, but I, I had to do this on purpose. I had to have it sitting out just a little bit so I could clear the turbo manifold. If I had it in any more, it really was gonna touch up on it. And this little bit of space here is actually, uh, hopefully what's gonna save this light from melting down and touching my turbo manifold. As you can see, it sticks out a little bit, but I did that myself. On your E36, if you don't have any problems with your turbo manifold being right there, it's gonna be just fine. Only every now and then I had a problem with these old ones where the light wouldn't come on and I'd have to hit it like the old, give it the old Fonzie whack. Um, I don't like the amber corners and um, the, the new ones are going to give it a much better style. But, you know, these also throw a lot more light and I'm driving it at night. So definitely need the extra light. It's easier to see. Um, and, you know, it's just all around safer. Looking at other upgrades, I also did another video on these E46 330i calipers and rotors. And it is a bigger upgrade than just doing E36 M3 calipers and rotors. So make sure you guys check out the other videos I have about this car on my channel as well. I'm really happy with these lights. They were 137 bucks from eBay and I'll put a link to them in the description below. You know, that's a lot less expensive than getting the depot lights, and I think it has a different look. It's gonna change up the front of the car a lot. If you're into stuff like my BMW E36 Turbo LS swap, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I upload a video every week about cars, whether it's this, my C5 Corvette track car, also got a 1966 Ford Mustang that we're doing a 351 Windsor swap and a bunch of other stuff. So if you like that kind of shit, hit that subscribe button. All right, swap is done. I might put these online or raffle them off. Let me know if anybody's interested in some sock headlights, but thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.